Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to some Dragon Quest XI. Oh man, it's been it's been a few days, been Christmas and all, been busy, but we are back, and uh, I find myself overwhelmed again with how much stuff we can do now. Uh, I have, however, travelled to the Slime Island, or whatever the hell its real name is, Insula Oriental Orientalis. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm being chased by some giant King Heel Slimes. Uh, there are a few new enemies, I think, on this island, but um, really the only reason I'm here is this door. Let's get it open. Let's see what's inside. Uh, a recipe book. Circles of Life. It's the Circles of Life. Uh, we've made, we can make life rings, skull rings. Well, yeah, death and life. I like it. Uh, so yeah, nothing else I want to do here, really. I suppose I could collect some materials while I'm here. Uh, but I hope everyone's had a nice Christmas. I hope everyone's had a nice festive period. And if you don't, you know, bother about that stuff, I, I just hope you're doing okay. Uh, my Christmas was very good, very good. Nice and uh, fairly quiet, but you know, just seeing some of the little niece and... I actually got myself a graphics tablet, so if you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, you will have probably seen some of the drawings that I've been doing. Uh, I am a complete noob when it comes to drawing, um, but I just thought it's something I want to try and get into. So, yes, it's been a very, very... I've, I've done very well this year. Got a very nice comfy jumper as well. Uh, I don't know why I'm running back to Dave, unless we are going to go to some of the other islands, which we could do. I've actually been told that going back to Cobblestone is a quest we can start with Gemma. So I kind of want to do that, actually. So we'll zoom back to Cobblestone. We'll see what Gemma has to say. Probably something like, You right there, mage? How you been? We got something for you to do. Something like that. So yeah, I hope everyone uh, everyone's doing good. Sorry there's not been any videos the past few days, but like I said, it's just, you know, sometimes you just gotta spend some time with the family. And spend some time watching Die Hard and Muppet Christmas Carol. Two of the greatest Christmas films ever. Right, so where's Gemma gonna be? Where is she going to be? So yeah, obviously this place is still a fucking mess. Um, I guess... Oh, there she is! And Sandy! Alright, Gemma! Welcome home, mage! Have you come back to see how we're getting on? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. When we first got back here and saw the state of the place, things felt pretty hopeless. We don't know why I'm doing this accent. My voice ain't good enough. My throat actually still is quite bad. Uh, <clears throat> still, still trying to get rid of this fucking cough. So I've actually got myself a bit of a, a a can of Coke here, which is really not the best thing to be drinking, especially when it gives me such amazing belches. But um, there you go. Uh, so I say we all pull together, and there aren't uh, all that many of us. We could really do with a little help. Uh, yeah, we've we've met quite a few people on our travels, Gemma. Um, if you meet folks who are at a loose end and might be able to help us rebuild the village, do you think you could send them our way? Okay, sure. Uh, great, thank you so much, Mage. Oh my god, look at her, she's so excited. In fact, she's kind of glitching a little bit. Wow. Um, so, what kind of people do we need? Merchants? Yep. Um, like Dirk. Dirk! Well, I guess I guess that's a big hint that we'll have to find Dirk then. Uh, we're gonna need some rough and tough types who can guard the place. Uh, muscly folks over in Octagonia. Okay. Um, need brains as well. Knows everything in a place called Hotto. All right. Last but not least, if we're making a fresh start, we need a cute mascot. Well, you've got to keep... Is Sandy not good enough? I uh, heard about a, lov a very lovable sacred beast from the frozen north. That could be a goer. 
What? All right, well, I guess we'll we'll start doing that, Gemma. Recruiting these people for the glory of cobblestone. It will it will rise again. We have the technology. We can fix him. I'm uh, tidying up here so I can help Amber out. She's uh, on her own after all. Well, she got Gemma and Sandy. She's not on her own, and she's got me. I'm just not around very often. Um, is there anything else to do in Cobblestone? I I kind of want to check out the tour, but I really don't know if there's going to be anything there now. Uh, I, I the thing is right. Usually with games like this, I get a guidebook, and as I've said, there is not one available in English, as far as I'm aware. So, usually I'd have so, sort of an idea of what to do, but not really, so I'm either just going off your comments, which um, I must admit, I haven't read in a while, so I've no idea there, apart from the Gemma thing. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to be wandering around going as many places as we can, seeing if there's anything going on. And nothing seems to be happening here. So this might be sped up or completely cut out, I don't know. But we might as well check out the tour while we are here. I know we, we came back here a while ago and got some items. I just wonder if there's anything new now that we've uh, changed time. This is a really nice area. It's kind of a shame you don't see it very often, apart from like the beginning of the game. Because there's no other reason to go here, story-wise. Right, anything going on? Uh, there's no indication on the map. I don't know if I can be bothered to run all the way to the summit. Uh, there are new- ah, there are vicious or uh, malicious, whatever they're called, versions of enemies here. Which is interesting. Because that usually means, well, I mean, if anything's changed, that has changed. Uh, I guess, you know what, we'll fight one of these needless. You could say, some might argue this is completely needless, but, <laughs> well, you, you might be right. Okay. So, we've got, um... Crushed ice, oh, that's only one. Attacking. Party pooper. Actually, no, what am I doing? What am I doing? Multi thrust. Wow, that one on the left got the raw deal there. And mage, yeah, just the usual. Now, I do remember someone saying in the comments, um, might have been a few people actually, that we can forge another Sword of Light. I'm guessing doing something very similar to how we did it the first time round. But we have the Super Sword of Light, so is there any point? And is the Sword of Light going to be better than the Super Sword of Light? Because that wouldn't make any sense. So, I don't know, but we're gonna, let's just run to the summit. Let's do this really quickly and then we can go searching for peeps. Ah, you know what I do want to do? Someone mentioned that we might want to check out Puerto Valor as a priority as well, so we'll do that. And uh, yeah, we've, we've still got so much to do and I cannot wait. Oh man, I've, I've got, it's ridiculous. I mean, I'm doing like four games at the moment and I just haven't, <laughs> haven't got the time to, oh. Oh, it's Dirk! Someone! Anyone! Well, that's bloody lucky then. I'm glad I did check this out. Just the man we're looking for. Dirk! Uh, I know that voice anywhere. Eric! Is that you? Come on. Dirk needs our help. Let's get to Dirk! It's only one little freaking malicious. Elysium Bird, or whatever it is. Malicious Hades Condor, my mistake. Um, a few people have also mentioned a few uh, grinding tips. There is one in particular that uh, will get you levels stupidly fast. However, I'm not going to do that for now. I think I might have said, holy shit, this dude's actually pretty strong. Mother of God. Um, 
But yeah, I don't want to... I find it more satisfying doing grinding in other ways, for now. We'll see how long that lasts, though. I might just get bored of it. Uh, but yeah, we are... Ooh, you know what? Flying enemies. Which one's that? Uh, is it... No, which one was it? Harvest Moon, wasn't it? Yes. Four. And Veronica, what should we do with you? Uh, kisses. That did nothing! That was bloody shite. How are you doing, Veronica? Uh, might want to heal us, actually. <laughs> Be on the safe side. Sting. Yep, that definitely stung. Bit of a sick burn. This thing still isn't weak yet. Still not weak, holy crap. Oh, heal again. And we did... Now that we're in the uh, in the post game, we've learned that Mage has access to a bunch of new abilities now. Apparently, they are only usable when you have the Sword of Light equipped. So we'll try those out at some point. That was better. That was better. Veronica, please don't die. Oh, he's healing himself. You little sod. Not by much though, so it's all right. Um, let's do a Quadra Slash just to change things up a little bit. Oh, oh boy. That was tasty. Speaking of tasty, here comes Jade. Hey, still not weak. This is like a proper boss. Yeah, Veronica's pissed. Okay. Uh, could crack again, I suppose. Is there anything else we can do ability-wise? Yeah. We could sap it, I suppose. Actually, no, Umphalon Mage, what am I doing? And another multi-heal. Actually running quite low on MP with Mage. Ooh, bloody hellfire. No, not Serena. That's not good. That's not good. That pissed Jade off. Uh, uh, I was not prepared for this. I didn't think this dude would be so strong. Uh, do I have... Do I have... Um, Whatchamacallits... Yggdrasil, Leaf. Yes, I think I will use that on Serena. There we go. Alright, Mage, get some damage in, boyo. I think we'll just stick with the Unbridled Blade. It's a lot... well, it's a little bit cheaper. Now, now it's down to yellow. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Let's do a sap. And it misses! Holy hell! Oh no, Jade, no! Is Serena gonna get it? Oh, I hope Serena manages to attack before that thing does, otherwise we are screwed. Probably, that is. Just die! Oh, mother dick. Uh oh, oh, Chronic is dead. Mother of God and all that is holy. Uh, uh, multi heal. Mage should be able to finish it off. No, don't. Alright, it's healing itself. That's okay. Kill it, please. 
Still alive! No freaking way, dude. Uh, full heal on mage. I might have to go do some leveling. I, uh, I did say I might do that off screen, but I didn't, I didn't do it. So, yeah, we may, may have to invest in some serious levels. These things aren't, are not messing around. Oh wow, we got zero MP. Just enough to kill it. Bloody Did I do hell. All right? Wow, 28,000 experience though. Shame uh, Jade and Veronica are missing out on I that. Feel better than ever. Nicely done. I think quite a few people are going to get levels here, possibly. Oh no, just Sylvan and Serena. Cool, you got me out of another horrible mess there, Eric, old pal. Wow, yeah. Uh, that is not Dirk's voice, we know that, but hey. Uh, so, he was heading off to meet a supplier. What? Why were you meet- who, who are you meeting on Cobblestone Tour, Dirk? You and your mate saved me bacon, how can I ever repay you? Well, you can go back and help- help Gemma out. Oh. A Spectralite? I need to sit down after me near-death experience there. Uh, same here, I nearly died. What's that? You got a favour to ask me? You want me to help get Cobblestone back on its feet? Go on then, sign me up. How can I say no to me saviour, eh? Besides, might be a little, uh, a nice little learner. You're always thinking of money. It's not about money, it's about sending a message. And he trots off. We need to heal. There we go. Also, Mage has zero MP, but we do have a bunch of, uh... Say well, I have two Sage's Elixirs. Who's got the rest of them? Who's got the rest of them? Hendrick? No. I need to give you a bunch of other stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. Who the hell has? Oh, it's Serena. Now, hmm. Actually, do I need to do this? Well, yeah, we'll give him one. I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more fighting, but I'm, I'm actually curious to see if there's anything at the top. Oh, there is! There's a freaking quest! Okie dokie, then. Let's go see who it is and what we want. It's been a very, very, very long time since we've wandered up, up this way. Go up, we have to go down. Yeah, man, that, that was that was tough. I uh, was definitely caught unawares by the ferocity of that enemy. Especially because, I mean, apart from the green eyes, it just looks like something you'd fight out in the world somewhere. Completely destroy it. Oh, who's this? What a freaking view! I forgot how good this place looked. Right, sir. Yeah, what a splendid view indeed. Um, this surpasses all my expectations. Simply breathtaking. Good for you, man. Uh, my name is Hugo, and I have devoted my life to traveling the world in search of the most marvelous views in existence. Now, I know we've only just met, uh, but I have a very strong suspicion that I've found you... Uh, found in you a soulmate. Uh, uh, whoa, whoa. Jade's my soulmate, buddy. Okay? A fellow devotee of jaw-dropping views and transcendent vistas. Or vistas. Um, youthful vigor, limber limbs. I have a feeling you may be able to witness the most marvelous views of all. Hey, you should take a ride on my magic flying whale. I mean, that's not the first time I've said that sentence. Uh, we'll get a fanta <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> uh, ooh, jolly good. Uh, yeah, okay. I knew it. I could tell from your face that you were the kind, uh, a kindred spirit. So, the secretive association of scenery seekers. So, where should we go? 
Uh, view from Soaring Cloud Kiss Heights. Vin Vincenzo Turismo, a member of our order. According to his celebrated writings, there is a great mountain on an island south of Octagonia from which a truly unparalleled view of Erdrea can be enjoyed. Apparently, he experienced something of an epiphany upon seeing it and carved his thoughts into a rock there. Right, okay. A mountain south of Octagonia. Um, okay. I would go myself, but I'm afraid my knees are not what they were. Even making this comparatively easy ascent was a struggle. Uh, okay. Mr. Vista. God, there's so much to do! Right, well, at least we can zoom. There's no point going down manually now. Uh, let's zoom. Where should we go? Puerto Valor? I did say I want to check that out. Because I want to I want to see if Silva will have another reunion with his dad. Which is a shame, because I really liked how it ended in the other timeline, but oh well. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. I'll have a sip of my drink, so please excuse the, uh, the carbonated results, which is just me belching. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah, it's been it's been so long since I've had actual like proper full fat coke. I used to be addicted to it, as many of you will know if you've been around the channel long enough. I was properly addicted to this stuff. Ah, cutscene. Puerto Valor. I have fond memories of this city. I trained here under Don Rodrigo. It has changed little over the years. This place made me the knight I am today. The training was rigorous, and the conditions harsh. But Don Rodrigo was a fine teacher, and a fine man. Okay, darlings, you have fun now. I need to go and uh, powder my horse! <clears throat> What? Ciao for now! <laughs> what? Did you powder your horse? Silvando, wait. <sighs> or should I say, Norberto? You are Don Rodrigo's son, Norberto. I have long suspected as much. You found out my little secret, huh? Nice work, Inspector Hendrick. I guess I should be flattered you even remember me from back then. Oh. Why? I do not understand. Why would such a diligent boy, one so committed to the knightly cause, abandon it so utterly? Your father must surely disapprove. This is why you are leaving, correct? You mean to avoid him? <sighs> At a time like this, you would put your personal concerns over those of your companions? Erdwin's lantern hangs low in the sky. Our world is in danger. If we are to have a hope of overcoming what awaits us, we will need your father's wisdom and experience. You will need it. Mm. Okay, okay, you're right, I guess. Papi does have a trick or two I always wanted him to teach me. Now's probably the time. Now's the only time. Although we've... It's weird seeing these events play out in different ways. It's so weird. I've made up my mind, darling. I'm going to face my papi. But I can't walk into that room alone. Will you come with me? I have a feeling it'll all work out okay, but I'm going to say yes anyway. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Alright, prepare for a heartwarming scene of reconciliation. Well, let's get this over and done with again. Um, wait a minute, have I... I'm forgetting which quests I've already accepted. Have I got your quest? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Eerie, eerie, we get it. Okay, uh, we have the guy to talk to, nothing else to do. We could check out the casino. Actually, I'm going to do that quickly. I want to see what prizes they've got. 
because, as far as I'm aware, the casino in Octagonia is not going to be there anymore. Because monsters will have never taken it over. I don't know, but let's uh, let's see what prizes we've got here, because I do have quite a few tokens. And uh, I'd like to see if I can spend them. Or, you know, if I see things that I want to work towards. Do 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 do. Ba -na -na. God, this casino does look pretty snazzy, doesn't it? Something about the red and gold. I just want to lie down on this carpet. Alright, uh, that, no, that's the bank. That's not what we want to talk to. Let's see what they've got. We've got two, two, <laughs> 250,000 tokens. Bloody fuck. Uh, down the rabbit hole. Already got that. Uh, staff of sentencing, don't need any of that stuff. Some fancy stuff for, uh, for peeps. Platinum power sword. Uh, okay, get better armor. The Moth Mask Prophecies. You can get that for just a thousand. Hmm. Hmm. Tempted. Tempted. Metal Slime Sword. Devilry Drinker. An awe inspired shield that can erect a barrier capable of blocking incoming spells. That is actually a pretty good a pretty good shield. And we can get more Spectralite. I'm not really sure what we use that for yet, but it's probably a recipe. Um, I'm gonna get this uh, recipe book. A thousand tokens is nothing. Uh, so we can now make Dread Daggers, Papillion Masks. Yeah, that's probably not anything we're gonna use, but for the sake of completion, it's not too bad. So I wonder, I wonder if the, the, the casino in Octagonia is gonna be there. Maybe the monsters take over again? I don't know. Um, so let's, uh, let's get Don Rodrigo's thing out of the way. I'm gonna have to start. I'm I'm gonna have to start doing what I usually do with um, my RPG playthroughs. I'm just gonna have to make like lists of things I want to do in each video, just to keep uh, keep track of it more than anything. As we do have a lot to do. Should I stop at the end? Nah, won't be too for now. Hello. I know this is Don Rodrigo's place. I've been here many times before. Um, oh, he was attacked by monsters on his way back and is badly injured. Oh, no! Well, let's go inside. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I remember the shiny. Silk Blossom. Uh, I didn't need it, just thought I'd grab it. Right, let us in. The prodigal son has returned. Do not disturb him, por favor. No, I'm afraid I'm going to. Is your business truly urgent enough to warrant disturbing his uh, convalescence? Yes. Just take my word for it. He'll, he'll probably want to know what's going on here. Uh, hi, puppy! <laughs> this is exactly the same. Except we don't have a bunch of uh, wandering minstrels to charm him. Caramba! Norberto, you dare to show your face in my presence? And you have come to tell me something, see? I, I'm so sorry, Papi. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, so sorry. <laughs> sorry? <laughs> what are you apologizing for? Foolish boy. Huh? You have become the knight in smiling armor you spoke of, see? You have made the whole world happy. Um... <sighs> Not yet, puppy. Well, you kinda did, Sylph. Then why are you here, hmm? 
Why did you come back if you have not yet done as you promised? You promised you would do this, Norberto. You gave your word. I did not raise you to be a failure. How dare you come to me and... Papi! Damn you, boy. If I were younger, I would put you over my knee. Kind of a knight makes an oath and does not fulfill it. Wait. Papi, did you say knight? You still think of me as one? Oh, you have no idea how... Oh, thank you, Papi. Thank you. I guess it wasn't very knightly of me to come back before I'd fulfilled my promise, huh? But I had a good reason. Erdwin's lantern, see? Yes. Great evil is afoot. I feel it. I feel it too, Papi. We all do. And how can I make people happy if that thing is up there making their lives miserable? It's impossible. Which is why I'm going to do something about it. Only then can I fulfill my vow and make all the people of the world smile again. But there's just one teensy weensy little thing we need to ask you. We want you to help us. Don Rodrigo, an ill wind blows through the world. We would call upon your wisdom. We would ask for your aid in banishing the darkness. Has Hendrik been stood there the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> you walk in here after all these years and start asking favors before you even say hello, Hendrik. As clumsy as ever, I see. Very well. You shall have my aid. If I can help you to erase the dark star from the sky, I will. What, what, what can you do exactly? I'm not quite sure why we're asking him for help, I forgot. Oh, Papi, really? Come on, no, Norberto, of course. A knight serves the weak untiringly. Even if they are his son and his former pupil. Mm, I have just the thing to toughen you to a... Uh, a great trial that has tested the skills of knights across the generations. Oh, it's to learn a new ability. I remember now. A great trial, Don Rodrigo. For you to call it such, it must be a test indeed. Oh, it is. <laughs> You have been to Eliador, see? Then you know the king's barrow. Two golden giants dwell in its darkest depths. You will defeat them. Oh, going back to the king's barrow. <clears throat> My throat is terrible, I'm so sorry. But mere victory will not suffice, no. You must show true unity, true chivalry. You must perform the executioner together. And with its strike, the final blow. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with one of the most powerful weapons ever created. With that weapon to aid you, not even the greatest of evils will stand in your way. I am liking the sound of this. Oh my, that sounds like quite a prize. Very well, puppy. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted, damn straight. <laughs> you always did have enthusiasm to spare, Norberto. I hope it will be enough. I will open the King's Barrow for you. After that, you're on your own. You'll open it for us? Isn't that quite a trek? Especially if you're injured? Ah oh, well, anyway, so... Yet another task to do. Two golden giants. Very, very interesting. Probably going to be super tough. That last fight is anything to go by. My god, was that tough. Uh, do I need to read these books again? Oh, platinum plating. Okay. Yeah, we know all those. Uh, right then, yes. So, we, we can go to the King's Barrow if we want to. 
I don't know if I'm going to do that just yet. But, um, but yeah, I, I'm going to have to just make a list and check it twice. You know, because it's like, well, it's Christmas is gone now, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, man, so much to do. I don't know where to go. I've still got quests to do. Oh, there is an ultimate door here, actually. Let's go get this bad boy opened. Wherever it is. Uh, where is it? Oh, it must be up there somewhere. In this house? Uh, must be upstairs. Aha! Yes, it is. I, I, I assume I read this book? I don't remember being in this house. Oh no, okay. I missed, I completely missed a bunch of recipes. Oh well. Not much use to us now. What a lovely balcony. Oh, this is gorgeous. Why would you lock this away? With an ultimate key. Oh, that ocean looks nice. Uh, just a piece of Technicolor Dream Cloth. That's that's okay. We've got a few of those anyway. Not too bad. Uh, right, so nothing else to do in Puerto Valor right now, I don't think. Uh, I don't think so. So, guys, uh, I'm probably going to end the video here. And off-screen, I don't know when the next video will be up, because I do need to do some planning. Maybe I'm worrying too much about it. Maybe I should just, just play the game and see what happens, but I like to try and do things in a bit of a organized manner. I'm going to figure out what I want to do next out of the things that are currently available to me. Uh, we could spend some more points with Sylv, actually, before we go. What was I doing with him? Um, yeah, we'll get that to Moray. Eh? I forgot if we'd unlocked this ability. Lash Batter. Okay, that's whips. Um, 18 points. Uh, Pied Piper. Now, some were saying that it might be a good idea to go into Knives with Sylv so they can sort of complement Eric's abilities. And I might do that, you know. I might do that. So, I mean, I'll have to respec. I think I'll probably just get rid of my whip abilities. So we'll just we'll head into knives for now. Um, oh, there we go. Twenty of uh, skills and lots. So we'll just get a few as many of these as we can. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Right, well, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for, um, you know, for waiting over the Christmas period for another video. Do appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully it won't be too long. God, I've got so much to do. Man, I need to record my other games as well. My God, but I also want to draw. Ah, too many things, too many things. But yes, you you guys are brilliant. I hope uh, hope you're doing well. And I will see you next time. This is Snake telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.